bragging. They just enraged every red-blooded American. New policy effective immediately. Hell no. When customers across the country flood into Walmart stores on a daily basis, they feel as though they are supporting an all-American business. The nation's largest retailers has profited in the billions from this belief. However, the retailer just royally enraged the wrong part of their customer base with a sign that popped up inside that's cause for a boycott. Among the store filled with everything people need for a cheap price, was a little white sign with black writing that appeared near the entrance. It was to alert incoming shoppers hopeful of taking advantage of some of the other services offered in the store, that they are going to need to make other arrangements, that is unless you're Muslim. After eight years of political correctness and excuses for the so-called religion of peace, it's become the only religion in the country that's given precedence over all others when followers pitch a fit. Walmart is now added to the list of safe spaces for Muslims after what one employee took upon themselves to make a statement on behalf of a Muslim woman in the store. Like Minnesota, Michigan has become another Muslim mecca of the United States where towns like Dearborn are completely overrun by Islam and operate under their own rules. This mentality has seeped out of one city and into others as was just seen in Taylor, Michigan. If men in Taylor were hoping to get a quick and inexpensive haircut at the Taylor Walmart on this day, they got some bad news on arrival. One Muslim woman put everyone in the store out, by taking over the entire smart style salon that afternoon with what she feels was her religious right. Although management of the Walmart and Taylor did the right thing by firing the employee who posted the sign without permission, some feel it was more reactionary than proactive. Teddy Stick reports. As the demand for acceptance of Muslim culture spreads, we are seeing more and more instances of people creating situations that should never be acceptable. A Taylor, Michigan hair salon employee did exactly that. In order to let a Muslim woman feel comfortable while getting her hair done, the employee put up a sign saying no men please. The incident happened at a smart style family hair salon inside a Walmart. The employee, who has not been identified, was fired after the picture of the sign went viral. Naturally, management claims the employee did not have permission to post the sign and that she was scheduled to leave the job before the whole thing took place. The sign was posted on July 10th but the management claims they did not know about it until 15 days later when the photos were posted online. Store manager Erica Van Etten says the anonymous man called, claimed the sign was posted that day and gave a false name and phone number. While it should seem obvious that a store employee is not allowed to dictate their own rules for any reason without permission, this smart style salon worker learned the hard way. Immediately catering to Islam at the cost of turning away countless customers, this employee decided to isolate an entire section of society so one person could get their hair cut. The fact that this was solely based on the customer's religious beliefs should be reason for the ACLU to get involved but it's the only religion they seem to protect, so it's silent on that front. However, had this employee done the right thing and denied this unreasonable request, we would have all heard from CARE, Council on American Islamic Relations, about it by now. We are not allowed to close the salon under any circumstances for anyone. If someone has a head scarf we are to let them know that we cannot close the salon and if a man comes and we cannot stop them, the store manager said according to the News Herald. I was not here for this incident and this was the result of a former employee taking it upon herself to do her own thing, Van Etten explained. I reiterate that this is a former employee that has been taken care of. As far as what happened, I apologize for anyone who got offended by this sign however again I was not here for the incident. The corporate office chimed in with their own politically correct statement. Smart Style welcomes all guests, and we apologize to anyone who was offended by the piece of paper taped to the salon window, they said. The message was inappropriate and it does not reflect our standards or beliefs, our goal is to offer a quality experience to all guests. Again, our apologies to anyone who was offended. It's only a matter of time before liberals start losing their minds that the woman who put up the sign was discriminated against and shouldn't have lost her job. Regardless if the now former employee had planned to quit or not, 
she broke the rules of the store with a sign and that of the country by catering to one religion over all others while also isolating an entire gender. If it wasn't for the benefit of Muslims, this is what the left would be irate about, irate about.